Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as mentioned yesterday, Microsoft is starting to roll out Windows 10 version 21H2, also known as the November 2021 update, which is the second feature update rolling out for Windows 10 this year. The first, as many of you know, was version 21H1, which rolled out in May. Now, Microsoft is pushing this update to Windows 10 devices through Windows Update as expected, and they are using a controlled rollout. So if you don't see the update initially, just be patient as you will get it in the next coming uh, you know, couple of weeks. And this is to ensure a smooth and reliable download experience for all users of Windows 10. Now, if you don't see it initially, you can try and force the update by checking and seeking for the update. And if it does appear, it will show up as an optional update. So it's not an automatic compulsory update, it's an optional feature update. And if you don't want to upgrade, you don't have to. Now, I didn't see the update and even after checking for updates, no update was appearing and I wanted to upgrade um, for the purposes of this channel. So I used the update assistant, which I did post a video on yesterday. If you'd like to go check that out, I used the update assistant and now I have version 21H2 installed on this device. And after installing now your OS um, version and operating system build will be version 21H2 OS build 19044.1348. Now, as I have mentioned in numerous videos over the last couple of months, um, after you upgrade, you will not see any new features. You won't see any visual redesign, any new icons, buttons, and so on. And as an example, if you upgrade from 21H1 to 21H2, you will see no difference in the two versions of Windows 10. They will be exactly the same and are exactly the same. And after I've upgraded and updated, everything was more or less exactly where it was before I updated. Now, there are one or two um, little security and productivity updates that have rolled out, as I have mentioned previously, with Windows 10 version 21H2. And just to summarize and mention those quickly, just once again, Microsoft has added WPA3 H2E standards support for enhanced Wi-Fi security. So you're just getting a more secure Wi-Fi connection. And Windows Hello for Business introduces a new deployment method called Cloud Trust to support simplified passwordless deployments and achieve a deploy to run state within a few minutes. And also GPU compute support is now found in the Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL for short. And this is just to assist machine learning and other computing intens intensive workflows in version 21H2. So those are more or less the um, little updates that have rolled out in version uh, 21H2. Now, just some personal observations. As mentioned, I used the update assistant. And to date, this is the longest, uh, uh, the, this update took the longest time to install of any feature update I have installed to date. Now, I don't know if this is because I used the update assistant, but Microsoft has been saying over the last uh, couple of months that the update is a small update using an enablement package and will take a short time and will be quick to install. Now, this was not the case um, in my case, and it took somewhere between five and six hours to install. So it took a very long time to install. And I have had user reports um, on this channel that other users have also experienced a very long installation um, time for the um, latest version 21H2. And then also my audio for my videos was giving problems after I, I upgraded. Um, my audio it took a quite, you know a couple of hours for me to resolve and actually get the issue resolved. Now everything seems okay, but that was also a little minor issue after I updated. And also some of my apps I had to um, repair as they were not functioning properly and were just crashing. So one or two apps like VLC and a couple of others. I had to just do some repairs on after upgrading to 21H2. Now, for whatever reason, if you are not happy after up updating to 21H2, you can always roll back. And to do this, we just head back to Windows Update. And on the left, you go to Recovery, where it says go back to the previous version of Windows 10. If this version isn't working for you, try going back to an earlier one. And you can just click Get Started, follow the prompts, which will roll you back to your previous version of Windows 10 if you are not happy with version 21H2. Now, just something to take note of here. This will only, you can only roll back if you still have your Windows old backup folder. And this is the folder I'm talking about. 
if you go to this PC, your C drive, you will find windows.old. This is a backup of your old version of Windows that the update did in the upgrade process. So if you have removed this, say, through Storage Sense or the Disk Cleanup Utility or any other means, you will not be able to roll back. So just make sure if you want to roll back, don't delete the windows.old folder. So that's just some um, personal observations, more or less what's new in version 21H2 and also how to roll back if you are not happy with this latest stable version of the operating system. And after I've updated, everything else seems to be um, running just, you know, smooth and fine and, you know, solid. And I actually, um, it just it actually does feel a little bit more stable than 21 H1 did and maybe that's because you know the up the update you know just repaired some system files but it does feel a little bit more stable than 21 H1 did so I hope you uh, you know you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one